What's up, guys? So my buddy Dennis King over at King Family Reacts did a video about this the other day, and I've been wanting to do a reply video because I agreed with some of the stuff that Dennis said. Uh, and let me just go ahead and preface this by saying we're talking about wrestling here, professional wrestling. And if you don't watch wrestling, this is going to sound like another language. So you may just want to go ahead and click off of here and go watch something else. Because I'm assuming if you watch past this point, you know about wrestling. You know what's going on. And, and there it is. But uh, the other day, Cody Rhodes announced, uh, or it was announced that he and his wife Brandy Rhodes were leaving AEW, which is a company that they were kind of founders of, the co-founders of. Cody was the executive vice president of, of the company, and they were two people that were like most synonymous with all elite wrestling. When you think of AEW, you think of them, and now they're gone. They left the company, couldn't come to terms on a new deal, and it is heavily speculated that they are going to be, or at least Cody is going to be returning to the WWE, where he hasn't been for six or seven years um, and that's the heavy speculation is that he could be on WWE television as soon as this Monday night on Raw. And people have different opinions on it. Dennis had a, had an opinion on it. Um, I'll just say this. I think in the past, the wrestling business has absolutely been classified as a money-making business. You go wherever the money is, you you go and you make that money. Wherever the most money is, you go make it. And that's the way it's always been. But I do think in today's wrestling business, you have guys like Brian Danielson. You have guys like John Moxley, guys like Chris Jericho, who were actually willing to take a little bit of a pay cut in order to go help out another company, in order to push the business forward. These guys said, hey, we're going to be making less money, but we love the business so much. We want to push it forward and we want to take it somewhere else. So we're going to take a pay cut. We're going to perform for a smaller audience in order to try and build that audience up. And of course we respect that. But I think it's important to realize that there are still guys like Cody Rhodes who are probably more old school who still view. I mean, don't forget Cody's dad was Death de Rhodes, baby. And... He was probably instilled in him that when there is more money to be made, you go make that money. And um, WWE's got the money to give. <laughs> they have got the money. And if they're offering Cody a bunch uh, and AEW couldn't match it, I'm not going to fault the guy for going and, and making money for his family. I'm sure not going to do that. Now, as far as the idea that Vince McMahon is going to have resentment toward Cody Rhodes for leaving WWE and going and making a name for himself and then starting AEW and how outspoken he's been that he is like, you know, he, he has said some things about WWE and stuff like that and it's leading people to believe that Vince McMahon's going to have resentment toward him for that. At this point, I, I have watched... Hulk Hogan returned to WWE after there were some horrible things said. I have watched Bret Hart. That one tops tops them all. When I watched Bret Hart come back to WWE after all that happened, I have watched guy after guy after guy and girl after girl after girl that were on bad terms and they came back. And I mean, Goldberg most recently. Goldberg was not on good terms. Brock Lesnar was not on good terms. Stone Cold Steve Austin was not on good terms. And they've all come back and they've all you know, made it work. So I'm not as worried about Vince McMahon having resentment toward Cody for, for going as if anything, I think Vince may be, uh, have a little more respect for him because Eric Bischoff, Paul Heyman, these are guys who kind of went to war with Vince McMahon. And when he brought him in, he, he had him doing some pretty significant stuff on screen and still does for in the case of Paul Heyman. So I don't know if there's going to be necessarily resentment. Um, but Dennis also said that he thinks that Cody will be stardust, his former WWE character. He'll be doing that within a year and that, you know, he's going to be back to the mid card doing the goofy paint in his face and all that. I don't know if I'm willing to say that yet. I don't know if I'm willing to go with that just yet. I think they're going to try to do something with him because they're if they're paying him that much money, 
you got to at least try. And it's a golden opportunity for them to try to do something different. I mean, they can try to do something different with him. He could be a very different character than anybody else if you acknowledge the obvious. That, like, he he started another company, and they've been our biggest competition since, like, 2001, you know? It could be a very unique opportunity. Whether they take advantage of it or not, I don't know. Um, do I think he's going to reach the levels of Roman Reigns? No, because I don't believe anybody's going to reach the level of Roman Reigns in their eyes. Uh, is he going to reach the levels of Brock Lesnar? No, because nobody's going to reach the levels of Brock Lesnar. But, you know, and, and obviously, in addition to the pay, it has kind of come out over the last couple of days that maybe there were some issues between Cody Rhodes and Tony Khan. They, weren't, they were kind of button heads, and there was some tension there that maybe had spilled over to some other people. And so maybe that also contributed to say, Hey, uh, I don't feel very wanted here. So I'm going to go to the other place and make a little more money and whatever. Uh, but that's, you know, that's my take on it. I I don't know if I'm willing to say he's going to just show up and be stardust again, or if he'll be stardust within a year. But, um, I think they're going to at least try. I think they could have him in a very high profile match at WrestleMania this year and try to give them a big push because uh, they have two world titles and Roman's only going to have well, he may have only one for most for the most part Roman's only going to have one of the belts so that could open up Cody to get another one I don't know, we'll see but uh, that's my take on Cody Rhodes Dennis, you're welcome to come on live on the channel and we will debate this any time man, because I, I did agree with a lot of what you said but you know I'm down to talk wrestling anytime, so I had to give my take. Take it in, soak it up, bye.